Hi, June the 18th, 2024. Just before I start with the restoration video, some of you have been asking about the mosquito, HA711 here at East Kirby. A month ago they did an engine test. A short way through the test the radiator gave out and leaked coolant all over the place. This was the port side radiator, so they had to shut down quickly. On the first inspection of the radiator it looked serious and could be out of action for some time but that doesn't seem to have been the case. Tony the owner sent it off for repair and has now received it back. I'm not sure what or where the damage was on the radiator. Tony has started the task of reassembling the unit and putting it back into the mosquito. So hopefully it'll be up and running in the short time. All right, right, back to the restoration. I had a good talk with John on the wing jig and the wing and other things related to the restoration. Hey, Hello, sir. You alright? You well? Yes, thank you. Are you? Yeah. I see off. the ring showing a bit of corrosion yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's coming. That's going to have to get thrown in the bin. We've got a new one. You've got a new one, have you? Yes. <coughs> it's up on top. You know the on top of stores. Yeah. Sat up there. Oh, good. So we've got. So we're just working our way around those skins now. So to mm -hmm. keep to keep it shaped. I took some off because I want to see them in the bath and see what sort of corrosion yeah. is on them and stuff. But um, we're leaving a few rivets in just to keep it all oh, together. Yeah. Otherwise, it just looked like a porcupine. Oh, no. You know what I mean? The grip of things and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> so yeah, we're cracking on. We reckon we can use these again. So they what these? Yeah. So they're not too bad, but we've got these. We're gonna have to make new plates. Make new plates to go over the top to sandwich yeah. it all in, but um, but that yeah, that's bogging. Is that? Oh no, it's only I see. It comes to there. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so it's, if it, it's all council rivets. Yeah. All the way around. Um, oh, so that will keep it in shape. Well, it will do. But then, but then the the structure underneath is all one piece runs around, it's not joined at the top. I thought it'd be joined at the top, but it isn't, it's all one piece. Oh, quite, is it? Oh. It's quite a substantial lump as well, so. Yeah. And it's got a cross bracing. So you can see through the back here. Yeah. It's got a cross bracing that fix, fa fastens across yeah. it. This is the Lancaster Outer Port Wing. The port wing jig was designed by John. Gavin, the man building the jig, has made a start welding supports in place. That's where the... It's a general fit, right? Yeah. And the jig... Um, is, he, is Gavin in now, going to fit the yes. arms up and everything? Yeah, um, well he's got, he's got the bed done, he got the bed done yesterday. Now we got the, um, the box cross members. So what what, what we've got to do is raise the, the wing up onto the jig, put the box cross members in line with all the ribs, so we make sure they're exactly the right place. And we can lower the, the wing onto them, yeah. and then Gavin can 
just tack well each one down because that's all it needs. Yeah. I mean, no end in the right place, and then we've got to locate the holes in 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 the root end where where the, where the spar um, bolts go through. Yeah. They, they they've got to be drawn and located, and then we can do the the, the tip end. Yeah. That's on the ground. Then we've got the the bolts at the top of you as well. Yeah. Yeah. And they are. So you, you'll have the ones at the bottom are easy because they're, they're not just 90 yeah. degrees. Yeah. The ones at the top have, 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 have got seven seven and a half degree um, angle on them because the, 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 the front spar isn't level. It, it, That's right. Yeah. It's it at the swings angle, back slightly. Yeah. yeah, yeah so the, sweet so the, back, yeah. the holes are, are, are sort of combined through through yeah. the spar. Oh, good. So will he be putting the the arms up to take the top not, spot? Not initially. Um, you've got to take the skins off first yeah. before we can do that. So you'll put the wing in before you put the arms in, will you? Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it's only held at the, at, the, at the tip end and the root end. Yeah. And then we get the skins off, then we can get the two um, sort of main spar supporting yeah. structure in. Yeah. Yeah. Because the skins come below the main spar, don't they? Yeah, they do. They do on the top surface. Yeah. Um, but the, the way they've done it during the war, they mustn't. They mustn't nail them on with it in the jig. Yeah. Because you, you, you put your main spar, you, you put your rear spar on on the bed, and then you, your main spar actually fits in next yeah. with, with the two supports, which, which are um, adjustable. Yeah. To get it dead straight, and then yeah. you start sticking the ribs in. Yeah. So that that skin which overlaps must have been left off because the original, the early lengths, the 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 leading edge skin only came as far as the main spar. Yeah, it did because yeah. Then what? they must have had some sort of problems, and then they, they extended yeah. it to the to the next stringer down. Yeah. The problem at the at the skin yeah. join on on the yeah. spar they decided to extend the skin. Yeah back one one um, yeah. string of length. Good. Yeah. Okay John, that was good. Thank you. Right. Anything else going on I don't know about? <laughs> the waiting time? Waiting. Yeah. Uh, waiting. Waiting. I spoke to Andrew about three months ago and he said they were still getting the, the material source for the boom. And it's supposed to be passed yeah, by the, the CAA. The, yeah, the main, he said they've got the, the machine people ready. Yeah, we, we, um, so we, can't, we can't get the right type of, of, of boom, uh, uh, spar material because they don't make it. Anymore. Oh, well, see, I, I so Will, it. Will, our stress man, uh, has come up with an alternative. That, that's all got off to the CAA. Yeah. And have been waiting ages and ages and ages for those to make a, a, a decision on it. Will's actually had a online conference with them where they went, yeah, that's great, that's brilliant. But then they've changed their mind again and sort of, well, I'm not quite sure. So they're holding us up. Yeah. Yeah. We're just waiting for somebody to sign okay, up yeah. for the paperwork and say, yeah, it's fine. Because yeah. what, what they initially they wanted to do is it, it was to have a piece of the new extruded spar material to test. Yeah. Can well, I use this material or do you not put this piece on? Pardon? Can I use this on YouTube or do you yeah. what not to put it on? Yeah, you can put it on. Put it on, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, oh, we haven't said anything wrong, have we? Oh, you oh, haven't no, said no, anything wrong. No, no, just went from, from the CAA to actually yeah. sign it on. Sign the, sign the paperwork and yeah. we can get on with it basically. Because yeah. it's, oh. it's extruded in California. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. aircraft extrusions will extrude it. And then to be machined, it will go to Canada. Yeah. So if, if we need a bit to test, then we'll have to get it extruded, sent over here, cut a bit off, get it tested. If it's no good, we've, we've wasted an awful lot of money. Well, if it, it is any good, then we've got to send it back over the pond to yeah. Canada to get it um, machined. Machine. So which, which either way it goes is going to cost an awful lot of money. Mm. Yeah. Right, thanks, John. Yeah. It's that's just, that's it, development for you, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's um, a very expensive item trying to get an old aircraft back in the air. Oh, it certainly is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, when I came, they were talking three and a half million, 
then I'm going to put it up to four million about a year ago. I should say it'll get to five yeah. million or more. Well, as, as uh, Brad said to somebody, somebody said, you know, will that fly pointing at the Lancaster? He says, no, it won't. He says, what we replace it with will. Oh. Yeah. As, 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 as the rear fuselage has, has proved, we've, we've, we've changed about 95% of the rear fuselage. Yeah. yeah. Because of corrosion, because of damage, and because of the, mainly of the river tiles have been too big. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thanks very much, yeah. John. That was interesting. It's the way it goes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. It's 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 the things you don't think about that trip you up. Yeah. You know, because we did a survey of the rear fuselage. Yeah, yeah. Corrosion's not too bad, which it turned not to be. There was a few little bits. Yeah. There, was, there was a bit of damage. We knew about that. We didn't even think about the river tolls. Uh, yeah. All well, the river, all the river tolls you, really? were bigger than 3.2. You see. Yeah. So, Oh, that's why we replaced all the all, all the formers have been yeah. replaced, and all the stringers have been replaced yeah. because of the just because the river toll because it was uh, refurbished in the, the Bourget back in 58, 59 or something like that. Of course, they're using metric drills. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, right. Okay, thanks, John. A lot of them are done now, to be honest. Obviously, we can't touch this doorway yet till. Yeah. Is it about completed? It. You're not far off. Back in tomorrow to do a bit more, but yeah. all, all four bits are in now. It's just yeah. needs to play around with them a bit. Yeah. Well, he put a steel plate over this. Yeah, yeah. Where there, where, there, where there is. Yeah, skin soon, hopefully. Yeah. Have you started routing that? Su no, because support. Yeah, I'm got. Um, till all these, all these are in. Yeah. I need that one in before I can put that on because it covers over the rivet. So. Yeah. Until all the, the cleats are in, I can't can't put it in. You can't put that in yet, can you? Till no. no. Norman's finished. No. Not Norman, no. Phil. Phil, yeah. <laughs> like I say, he's back in tomorrow, so. Yeah. So, what you work on, Jared? The last string, eh? The last one. Is it the last one? No, it's it? the one. Yeah. This, that one, this one, and. Yeah. One other. One more at that. Yeah. Last three. Are they ready for painting now? Uh, they've still got holes for drilled in, they can get, yeah. they can get drilled in. Yeah. yeah. Right, what did you say you were making, Terry? Fairly. That's the old one. Made out of tough mud? Yeah. They, a lot of them call it Paxlin, but That's the old one, and there's, here's one I'm making. But it, the, it is thicker, because we haven't got the... We haven't got the thick material. No. Will it be all right, or will you have to yeah, put oh it no, down? Yeah, oh no, it's been approved. Been yeah. approved. So that's it. Yeah. Oh. Got the drawings here for it. Yeah. There's your drawings for each bit, and it's it's threaded in there for BA, so it's it's a bit delicate. Yeah. By the beginning of July, this frame will be ready to start having the first skins pinned in place. Phil still has to do work on the door frame. Dave will be back from his holidays, so things should start moving. Aidan and Andy last week were assembling half of the framework for the FN5 front turret. Oh, you get it on with this.
have these have got to be inspected to when you've got the yeah just paint check, off. check them for corrosion um, yeah. and then yeah, anything that's I mean so far we've been okay so all, all the box sections that were taken off they've, they've been fine yeah. so we can reuse all this um, yeah we just need to inspect anything and then anything we do find corrosion we'll, we'll replace yeah. good fingers crossed yeah. so far and good One of the comments I received was the amount of petrol used on the taxi room. I asked John this question. It also came up in conversation with Norman. Both quoted round about 65 gallons per run. And also inside the hangar there's a, a notice. These are some of the uh, running costs. £152,151. Aircraft total taxi time 56 hours 47 minutes, 7,116 pounds per hour to operate. 